Today I'm going to share the very first possible uh, likely rumored specs of the new Sony high-end E-mount APS-C camera that will be announced soon. Before we dig into this, please take two seconds time to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button to not miss any of my exclusive fur world's first rumor videos about the next Sony cameras, Nikon cameras, Canon cameras and all other manufacturers. Now here we are talking about the new Sony high-end E-mount camera. Let's start first with the uh, rumors I got from solid sources. First of all, they all confirm it's coming. It's really coming and uh, one of the trusted sources also told me that uh, the shipment start should be August. The announcement will be before, but in August we should get this camera. And uh, he didn't share, that trusted source didn't share any info about the specs, but I hope he will do soon. What I got now is um, info from other sources that are new time sources but the quality of their rumor uh, seems like worth to be mentioned in this video because I think this could be really it. The, the specs really sound like the real camera. So let's dig into this. Those two new sources say the camera would be named A6700. It would use the same 26 megapixel sensor of the FX30. The IBIS would have seven stop stabilization. The camera would feature the new AI processor engine that also is implemented on the ZV-E1. It would record 4K 120p with a 1.19 crop. Uh, the body will have a new design. It will still have the EVF on the left like it is on the current A6600, but it will have a scroll wheel on the front under the shutter button like on the current A7 series. The grip is redesigned and more ergonomic. The body will be about 3mm deeper and 4mm taller and the announcement date is beginning of July. So this is the info I got from those two sources and I'm 90% sure that those are the specs of the real camera. Uh, all the specs really make sense to me. As you know, Sony doesn't make really uh, giant revolutions, but more uh, solid evolutions on any generation of cameras. And uh, why the specs are likely to be true is also because Sony already hinted the FX30 sensor might be used on future E-mount cameras. So for me, it's nearly certain that the A6700 will use that 26 megapixel sensor from the FX30. No surprise at all here. Um, the new AI processing engine makes sense. That it doesn't record AK also doesn't surprise me on a such small compact body it's quite challenging to have a Sears AK 60p uh, that doesn't give you any overheating issue and uh, there's also the question that AK uh, isn't really uh, used by many people right now it may might be in future but uh, it's certainly not a deal breaker to have nice 4k 120p instead of a crappy AK uh, 30p. What I really like about the specs is that they seem to have improved the ergonomic of the camera body. On one side the A6600 is very compact, it's nice, but to hold it is quite challenging for some people if you have bigger hands or you use gloves. So having a body that is slightly bigger in size and has a much better grip is good news. Also that you have the scroll wheel underneath the shutter is a much needed addition, it makes it a uh, more serious uh, camera and the announcement period should be beginning of July although I heard that Sony might anticipate some of their product announcement that was were scheduled for 2023 uh, I don't know if it will be the case for the A6700 so uh, maybe they will anticipate the announcement to June I hope it is so but it's just a speculation of mine as of now. Before the A6700 we'll get the ZV-12 in uh, late May that already I told you about in a previous video. And now I want to share just a curious small story about a uh, rumor I got yesterday because a highly trusted source sent me a message where he confirmed that the new A7000 slash A6700 would be on the market by August and for a tiny bit of moment because I need I'm, I'm affected by confirmation bias and dream bias probably I thought that he would talk about two cameras coming uh, the E7000 and the E6700 uh, realistically I think that he just didn't want to unveil the name so he gave me the two options 
but in my dreams that would be an ideal situation having a compact A6700 camera that you can use uh, easily carry around uh, with you in your pocket so that uh, certainly makes sense but having a sort of Sony A1 mini philosophy a very high-end APC mount camera that would cost uh, around $2,500 uh, it's actually would be a dream come true for me uh, but like I said after one second I realized he just uh, didn't want to unveil their name right now so he sent me the two options anyway um, I will post more video about the a7c and other cameras that are coming after the a6700 uh, I will post them soon on this channel so please again stay tuned and subscribe and as soon as I get a confirmation about the A6700 specs uh, if they get confirmed by trusted sources or if they there's some kind of change on the specs I will make a new video uh, I hope the trusted sources are watching me right now and can confirm me through the anonymous contact box on Sony of Rumors if I'm right with the specs I guess I am but I want to be sure and as uh, soon as I have more info I will post a new video so stay tuned and I see you soon